You're looking at a daily chart of the NASDAQ, and this is my daily review. Thank you for watching and welcome. I just wanted to point out one thing here on the uh, NASDAQ that it seemed like a nothing burger day today, but it closed the gap here from last Thursday at uh, 11,487. You can see that there was the high that day. Then it gapped up Friday. Uh, we had Monday, this gap opened and faded. Then yesterday was the Powell, Powell debacle. And then uh, today came right back down to that 11,487. So uh, right there, it just closed that gap. 11,487 was the high on Thursday and it was the low on today, Wednesday. So productive day, it um, filled the gap. And uh, I'm not saying it's going higher because it's definitely a sideways market, but this is carving out a bottom here. Pretty obvious here as the um, the uh, 200 simple moving average, which is, you know, the longer term trend is uh, it's not trending up, but it's not trending down. It's flattening out here and the uh, 50 is definitely trending higher in the 10 and the 21. So we're in a power trend. And uh, the market's not <laughs> it's not ripping higher, but it's not you know going lower. You know, like I say, if you're a short. I'd be pretty frustrating with all the negative news and the inverted yield curve and the uh, impending doom and recession that, um, you know, we couldn't take it lower, but it's not going lower. So um, I, I kind of like this market. And the reason why is because I'm seeing a lot of stocks, a lot of leading stocks at MC stock charts are just coming down to their uh, moving average. So when these days we have sell offs and everybody's freaking out, I'm just looking for stocks that are pulling back to moving averages which these two days, you know, last two days, which is Tuesday and, um, I mean, Monday and Tuesday, it just pulled back to its 10 and today it bolted, you know, nearly 4%. So NVIDIA, obviously the semiconductors were strong today and uh, NVIDIA wasn't the only one. Uh, ACLS, which is one of my favorites here at MC Stock Charts, this one just pulled back in the last couple of days to its 10 EMA. You know, we, we mentioned that it got a little ahead of itself there at uh, 5% above. Then it had this day where Elon Musk, you know, spoke out, but it, it actually managed to survive somehow. And uh, today it just bounced off its 10 EMA. And that was the theme for the today. It's just stocks that pulled back to their moving averages, just found support. And that's what you want to see. Um, uh, this is a lattice semiconductor, another one that pulled back the last couple of sessions, didn't even make it back to its 10 EMA and blasted, you know, nearly 4% higher today. So that's what you want to see with these leading stocks. You can see the trend is obvious here with these moving averages. Um, anyway, I'm going to go through a couple of, um, you know, these semiconductor stocks that I like because they're strong. We have about four or five of them here. Uh, at MC Stock Charts. This is uh, the day that uh, Elon spoke, you know, it found support. Today, uh, it bounced off its um, 21, closed 3.2% above that level and was up 7% today. So nice day for AEHR. Another one we have at uh, MC Stock Charts is Pi Oh My. This one pulled back to its 10 the last couple of days and guess what happened? Oh, it got support, it was up nearly 2%. Just an inside day today though. And this one's it's a little wild. This one kind of bugs me the way it trades, but it's definitely trending higher. And then Owen Semiconductor is not one of my favorites. It's a little while, but it did trade back to its 50. Found support, and today it blasted off its uh, 21 EMA. And now it's 5.4% above its 10 EMA. It was up nearly 5.5% today. So congrats to the longs at Owen Semiconductor. Anyway, I think I've shown enough semiconductor stocks. Oh, no, I haven't. ALGM, they had news this morning, new product. You can see the last couple of days, it almost pulled back to its 10 EMA. And guess what? went higher today so uh definitely a theme here that i'm seeing i'm going to get to um a couple more stocks uh be but before i do that i just wanted to go to the retail because this is dicks blasting out of a base yesterday and then uh on heavy volume and then adding on to the gains here another two percent gain that's uh you know a retailer with um you know it's 12 billion market cap it's not a small uh, business and uh they said that footwear was their um, top category in the past quarter. So I thought Crocs would get a bid, but nope. This thing just wants to go sideways between, uh, you know, 120 and 125. This thing's doing nothing wrong. Pulling back on lighter volume. Uh, they speak at a conference next week. I, I don't expect them to raise anything or make any news, but I'm sure their business is doing pretty well. And as long as this thing trades sideways, if you look at the weekly chart, 
it's just trending right along with this red line and the thing goes up i don't know i did this exercise recently it goes up um eh, about two bucks a week yeah so you know five weeks it'll be up 10 bucks so i'm just waiting for the next report and see how business is doing Anyway, ELF is another one that pulled back to its 21 and, you know, in the last couple of sessions and found support. And it was up uh, yesterday. The 21 was a 71.51. Now it's 71.74. Now it's at 74. So it's 3.2% uh, uh, above its 21 EMA. There's definitely a thing here. These stocks, these leading stocks that we have are finding support at moving average. This is bowl. <laughs> Bolero, as some people call it, or Bolero Leisure Services. People are going out bowling, I guess. But, uh, you know, the sales and earnings growth are strong. And this one had a nice little base and it popped higher off of its uh, 10. And then uh, now it's a little bit extended there at 7.2%, but definitely a nice move today at 4.3%. I'm just going to go through some of our stocks that have been on our watch list. And, um, a ready list or whatever you want to call it and um, doing well. This is uh, Arista Networks. We had this one, I don't know, about 135 last week. But you can see it just, it's got support at the 21. And then the last couple of sessions, even when the market pulled back, you know, it, did, it didn't pull back. And today it blasted higher, nearly 4%. Little extended now at 5.2% above the 10 EMA. But that's the kind of strength you want to see in the market. It's a stock pickers market, as I said thousand and one times and you got to pick the right stocks this is a stld got a little bit ahead of itself as we noted last week it was up you know nearly seven percent above its 10 ema which is a little uncharacteristic for this stock uh pulled back monday and tuesday and today it came down to its 10 and then bounced higher and that's what you want to see support at moving averages with these leading stocks uh united rentals this is a real quiet one nobody talks about and it's just <laughs> trending along it's 10 EMA, so don't say anything, okay? We'll keep that goody to ourselves. SMCI, this one is all over Twitter. People really like this stock, and uh, I like it too, and I own it, and this one's in a base here. Pull back to the 21, guess what? Got support, blasted higher, then kind of pinched in here. We, I think we talked about this yesterday, this little pinching action, and then today it popped. little pinch and pop action here. I popped nearly 4% with some decent volume. You can see these big blue volume bars. Somebody's buying a SMCI and it's not Aunt Sally. Uh, okay, LNTH is another one on our watch list here. And if I could spell it correctly, we could actually have Market Smith bring the stock up, but you can obviously see this one here in the chart. If you looked at charts very long, the cup with a handle and this pullback here on lighter volume. Today it popped a little bit, but I'm going to leave this one on our watch list as I think this one has room to grow and room to go uh, it's a medical product stock and you can see the last uh four or five weeks um somebody's buying that stock it's not ansu um tmdx is another one this one today i'm going to go to the five minute chart because i was watching it and it was way down in the morning i'm going okay this thing uh not going to do much today and then it just blasted higher so uh guess what happened it came down to its 10 ema and then found support and uh, blasted higher today. I was really surprised by the action. I shouldn't be because it's a really strong stock. But you could see that it was down to uh, 79. It traded down to 79 today. This is a low. Uh, and then bounced, um, you know, nearly, you know, what, more than $3 off that level. It's 4.4% above its 10 EMA. And um, that one's ready to make a new high too. So definitely watch those moving averages, folks. Axon, this one gapped up on earnings. It had this glitch day <laughs> that shook people out. You got, you, you know, I'm not going to say anything about that, whatever. But anyway, this one is 4% above its 10 EMA. So, and it's the, the moving average is going up, I don't know, a couple bucks a day. So maybe it'll be uh, 215 tomorrow, 217 on Friday. So maybe it'll pull back there and bounce. That's what I'm looking for anyway. Hmm, 229 after hours. We'll see about that. Anyway, um, one more is Perion. This is one, another one that I like. And this one's got, got a little bit ahead of itself, a little extended, 5% above its 10 EMA. And uh, today, just pull back a little bit, doing nothing wrong. Let these moving averages catch up and uh, maybe, um, you know, catch this thing as it uh, 
you know, pulls back to maybe the above 35 area. So we'll see. Anyway, I kind of like this market. If you're a stock picker, um, you can do well. If you want to cry and be negative, you know, you like, um, you know, then you can live in that world too. But I choose to be positive. I choose to uh, try to work hard and do my homework and find uh, winning stocks and leading stocks. And they're definitely bouncing off of moving averages, as I showed you here today. So that's, those are the ones we're going to stick with and uh, we never give up.